Our reactor cores are now behaving appropriately, but we still have no audio. We're halfway towards a finished game right now. You'll find that a game won't really feel complete until you have both sound and music. Fortunately, we can use Unity's built-in audio engine to easily implement both sound effects and music tracks. Let's see how it's done. First, we need to understand how Unity Audio works. So let's start by going over the various parts of the Unity Audio system. Unity uses a listener and source paradigm. That is to say, for a sound to be heard by your player, it has to be in range of a listener. An audio listener is like a microphone or your player's ears. By default, there is an audio listener component attached to the main camera here. There can only be one audio listener in the scene, so unless you want something other than the camera to act as the player's ears, you should be good to go with the current arrangement. If you do find a reason to move the listener, remember to remove the listener from the audio camera, or your game won't be able to run properly. Unity will stop your game with an error. As you can see, the audio listener is a pretty simple component. There's literally nothing to edit. Basically, as long as you have one, and only one in the scene, any sound it can hear will be played by the game for the player. But first, we'll need some sounds to play. So why don't we start by creating an audio assets folder. And then let's open that audio assets folder in the Explorer view. And I'm going to drag in two audio clips here. One is the audio clip for sound effect in the game, and the other is a music track. Both of these are AUG Vorbis files. Actually, Unity offers pretty good support for popular audio formats of all kinds. Now when I return to Unity, you'll see that they're right here. So what it was doing while we were waiting was actually checking to see if it had to convert file formats based on your publishing platform. For example, if you had decided to publish the game to Android, it would have converted these AUG Vorbis files into MP3 files to save space. In most cases, no conversion will be necessary. Mobile platforms, like I mentioned, being the big exception. Okay, now that we've got some files to play, we're going to need a way to play them. That's where an audio source comes in. We know we want to make a sound when a player clicks a spot, hit or miss. So let's set up an audio source in the Reactor Core prefab. Now you'll notice, I went over here and not to the prefab. That was just to make a point, right? You really want to make your changes to the prefab so they propagate out to the game without you having to make the changes again yourself. So first what we're going to do is we need to add the audio source component to the prefab. Do that by going to Component, Audio, Audio Source. Then we need to assign the audio clip to its audio clip field, and that's the button clip, so we just drag it right here into the audio clip field. And then last, we want to uncheck Play on Awake, so that the sound doesn't play every time the reactor comes online. And also you'll want to double check that loop is unchecked. If you wanted it to repeat after it was done playing, you would check loop, but otherwise leave it unchecked so it plays as a one shot, that is to say it plays one time. There's a lot more you can do with an audio source. For example, you can set pan, or you can even set volume fall off, which is the distance it can be heard from. For the moment though, we really don't need to worry about any of this. We're really close to the camera anyway, so all of our sounds are going to be heard, and there's really no reason to mess with stuff that isn't broken yet. In fact, I'm pretty sure we're done. We've taken raw audio assets and ended with an in-game object ready to play a converted audio clip by importing the asset, creating an audio source, and assigning the converted audio clip to the newly created audio source. Next, we'll set up background music as we go over building and playing game music. Good luck!